Hi, it's Sally from Field to Fork here. How great to see you. We are so missing you having you visit us here at the Hersel this year. But maybe this way we can bring the fun of Field to Fork into your classrooms and share with you some of the things we would normally see and do at the Hersel on your visits. So I hope you enjoy and maybe learn something too. Welcome to autumn. Isn't it just the most fantastic time of year? I hope you're getting out wherever you are and enjoying the feast it is for our senses. There's all these glorious colours of leaves that are changing on the trees now and falling off and in the hedgerows bright coloured berries. On the ground we can forage for lots of different seeds and nuts and maybe spot those fungi that just pop up but remember not to touch them. But of course, autumn for our wildlife is a very serious time. It's an important time for them to build their fat reserves and to collect the store of food that they need to see them through the winter. When food is scarce and they need extra energy to keep them warm in the cold winter months. So let's go now and see what signs of autumn we can find around the Hersel. What a selection of colours. A glorious autumn carpet. Aren't these colours fantastic? Do you recognise this as an oak tree with its distinctive shaped leaves and its acorns? They're green at the moment but some of them are already turning to brown as they ripen. They're held there in little cups. Some acorns have come off with their leaves. And of course, we usually have great fun foraging about on the ground for these acorns. The acorns will be gathered up by squirrels and mice and birds called jays to give them a winter food supply when it's cold and the conditions are harsh that they need to take on food. But of course, they're the seeds of the oak tree. So potentially, each one of these could become an oak tree if it landed in the right conditions. The dampness on the beech leaves really brings out their colours. Forage among the beech leaves and you'll find beech mast, those spiky shells that have now opened and spilled their tiny triangular seeds everywhere. Can you see the helicopter seeds hiding among these leaves? Not yet fallen off, but if we looked on the ground there would be plenty more. Can you see this conker's been nibbled? There's the shell it came out of. These berries are haws on a hawthorn bush. They've got quite a big seed inside them, so the birds will get a bit of flesh off the berry before they drop the seed or before it goes through their guts and they pluck it out the other end. The tiny apples on this tree are crab apples.
the last of the brambles. The red hips from the dog rose. Elderberries. These bright red berries on a yew are highly poisonous. The yew, of course, is an evergreen, so it's not going to lose its leaves. They are tough and waxy and so can survive the winter. The holly, of course, is another evergreen. And its berries are turning red. Very familiar to us at Christmas time. Weird and wonderful fungi. You might not notice this black fungi. Look at this amazing fungi on this tree stump. And of course the Highland cattle are usually the highlight of your visit, aren't they? And I think they've been missing all that extra attention from you too. Obviously lunchtime, in for a drink. So still dependent on their mother's milk, although the calves will be eating quite a bit of grass now in their diet. I wonder how many of these signs of autumn you have managed to find wherever you are. And maybe now you would like to try some of our Field to Fork autumn activities that we are going to share with you.